Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my fall favorites. These are all the products I've been loving. I used to do monthly favorites and I haven't done that in a while, so these are just the products that I've been reaching for the most the past couple of months. Some of them are pretty new, but I have instantly fallen in love with. Some of them you've seen a ton of times on my channel, so I'm just going to get into it. I filmed a couple videos today with all these makeup products so I will link those all down below if you want to check out how I got this look I have been sick really I had a horrible cold for two weeks I'm finally starting to feel better my voice still kind of sounds sick I kind of still am a little bit tired from being sick and it has not been fun but I finally am feeling a little bit better and so I needed to bust out some videos because I have not filmed. I think I filmed one time in those two weeks and it has been rough. <laughs> so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and if you wanna see my current favorites, just keep watching. Okay, so I have two skincare items I'm gonna talk about. The first is the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Cleanser. You can see this is almost all the way gone. I need to go buy a new one. This is just my favorite, my holy grail face wash that I use. I have PCOS, I have constant breakouts, I have tons of skin issues. I Actually my skin is very clear right now and looks really good for how often I have breakouts and I suffer from breakouts. But this cleanser is basically the only one that I use. It is the best that I have ever used on my skin. I will recommend this time and time again. I think it is great. The next thing that, that is kind of new that I got a couple weeks ago is the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I have been using this, these two products, every single day for the past three weeks and this is all I've been using on my skin. I haven't been using any moisturizers, any creams, I haven't been using anything like that. I've just been using those two and I've seen a big difference in my skin already within the last couple of weeks. I think that that oil is really helping my skin. I'm very excited about it. I did just get the travel size. This little one was $16. I just wanted to see if it was as good as I've heard it is and so far it is. It hasn't made me break out, it hasn't done anything weird. It helped my current breakouts clear up really nicely and I think my skin looks really great. I'm just gonna go randomly. I don't even know what I have. I have three eyeshadow palettes right here. The first one I'm gonna talk about, this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Armed and Gorgeous Palette. This palette is beautiful. I love these, I know that the palettes I got that I received were beautiful. They blended really nicely. The pigmentation was great. My absolute favorite color is this one right here, Axis. It is one of the best yellows that I have. It is gorgeous. But I have used this palette so many times since I bought the Vault. I just love this one. This is probably my most favorite out of the whole Vault. The next one I'm going to talk about is, this is the Zulu by Juvia's Place. I used this palette a lot for my super bright colorful looks. I used it in one of my Halloween makeup looks and I forgot how good these shadows are. These are beautiful. The pigmentation is insane. The colors are so bright. They blend out so beautifully. I need to go get more Juvia's Place palettes. Let me know if you have any favorite palettes from Juvia's Place and what they are because I really think I need to buy some more. And then the last palette I'm gonna talk about, this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I, I knew that I was gonna end up buying this. When this released, I was so excited about it. I just think it is so pretty. The color story is gorgeous. The shadows are so beautiful. This is actually my first Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I don't own any other Urban Decay palettes. I just never have bought one. And this is my first one and it is Beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. The mirror is amazing. It is such a good mirror. It's a huge mirror. It feels really heavy and sturdy and luxurious. I really like this one. If I'm not filming, I've been reaching for this one the most. I have two sprays here. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I just used this in a first impressions. I 
a while ago, but I love the way that this sprays. I love the way that it dries down really quickly. The sprayer on it is amazing. It evenly coats my face. It dries down like so quick. I really like that one. Another spray is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. My skin, since the weather has changed, has been more dry, so I've been reaching for this a ton. It is very hydrating. It feels so good on the skin. It just makes my skin feel very moisturized before I go in with all my makeup products. I really like this one. I'll also use it throughout my makeup process. While I'm doing my makeup, I'll spray it a couple of times just to set all my makeup down to really blend it all together and make it melt together. I really like that spray. Now, this foundation I've only used a couple times, but holy crap, it is good. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful in person. It looks amazing on camera. It's really good. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I also love the concealer. I really do like the concealer. This foundation I think is so beautiful. It looks so good on the skin. Another first impression I tried not that long ago, this was the Makeup Revolution Lip Topper in Luxurious. This is beautiful. Holy cow, when I put this on my lips, it made my lips look so glossy and juicy and it looked so pretty. I was, I was blown away when I put this on my lips. I thought it was so pretty. See, my voice is like kind of going in and out because I'm still kind of sick. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to go quickly before I lose my voice. Another favorite is the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. This primer is amazing. I think that it is 100% worth the price. I use this almost every single time I do my makeup and I've, I've made a pretty good dent in it, honestly, but you have to use the smallest amount of product that I think it makes it worth it for the price because it will last so long. Another favorite was a BoxyCharm item. This is the Note. Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in Desert Rose. This is just the prettiest toned down beautiful blush for me. It is a matte blush. It just makes your cheeks look perfectly rosy. It's not too red. It's not too pink. It is just a very beautiful shade. This is probably one of my favorite shades of blush that I own. Another BoxyCharm item that I have been loving this is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I really like this. I don't notice any flaking. I think it really curls my lashes and it makes them look more voluminous. So I do think that it does what it says it does. I think it's beautiful. Obviously, I can't tell if it adds length or anything like that. I am never am able to tell. All I can tell is if it looks good on my bottom lashes because my top lashes aren't really there. These Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils are amazing. They're probably some of my most favorite eyeliners. They're beautiful. They glide on so easily. They stay there. I really love the colored ones. I think they're so fun. I have a purple one on my eyes today. I believe I have Empire. Yeah, I think I have Empire on my waterline today and I just think they're so beautiful. Another favorite is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. Make sure you get Ultra Black if you are getting this. It is very black. It is so easy for me to create a wing with this pencil. It's just so easy. It's so quick. It doesn't dry out at all. It's I'm like way surprised by this. I use this every single time I do my makeup, like every single time. I don't think I ever grab another one. Another favorite that I've also mentioned before, but it's just so good. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is just so good. I use this to prime my eyes. I use it to conceal under my eyes. I use it to highlight my face. I use it to cut the crease. I use it for everything. You get a ton of product in it. I think it is so good. It's a little drying. I don't think it's as drying as Tarte Shape Tape, which is why I prefer this over that now mostly because I have so so much texture and issues under my eyes that if I get a super drying concealer like Tarte Shape Tape, it just brings out all that texture. So I really, really love this concealer. If you have not tried it yet, I think it is 100% worth it. You get a ton of product and I think it works so good. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It is, it is a good one. I feel like my voice is shaky because I'm talking so much. Another favorite that I had, which I actually cannot find, I don't know where I put it. 
It is the watercolor paints. I believe it is the brand Mosaic. Let me check really quick. So it is Mosaic's. This all-in-one face painting kit that I used for most of my Halloween videos that I did this year. I loved it. It made it super easy. They are water-based, so when I put them on my son and he kept rubbing his face and, you know, little kids do that, it definitely did come off with the water or if, if it gets wet. But to create the looks that I created this year for Halloween, it was the best palette that I could pick. I also picked an oil-based palette, which was really vibrant and fun to work with, but those are so hard to set and to make them like set down and just stay there and not move around. It was really difficult. So definitely I'm gonna work with those a little bit more, but the water paint one was beautiful. I loved the looks that I created this year. I thought they were so fun. I can't wait for next year. I thought they turned out really well and I really loved the water paints that I used this year. I thought they were amazing. I know this video was kind of short. I don't have a ton of new stuff. I just have been reusing a ton of my old favorites and not buying a ton of new stuff, but these are all the products that I've been constantly using for the last couple of months. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. I post three videos every week. Leave me a comment down below with your current favorite products. Let me know what you have been loving. Also, if you've tried any of these products and what you think about them, they all work really well for me. Let me know if they worked for you or if they didn't work for you, why. I think it's so interesting when a product I love and use all the time doesn't work for someone else and for what reasons. I just think it's interesting. Everyone's different. Obviously, one product isn't going to work perfectly for every single person out there. We all have different preferences, different skin types, so it's just interesting to see what you guys think about these products as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.